sitting in the middle of the lab right now. There is a sort of demonstration aspect to the lab. It's broken out into stations at the moment where you'll have mobile, or you have CPG and retail. We have an area around quantified self and all the measures people are taking about themselves every day, uh, which I know uh, will be interesting to hear about when you speak to Chad. So this is a this is a plant. That, tweeting plant. Yeah. This oh, is sorry. a tweeting plant. This plant tweets to let you know if it needs to be watered. Why wouldn't you want that? The way that this works is that there's essentially there's an idle state which just shows nothing, and then when somebody's looking at it, it determines the gender. So right now, Liz and I are looking at this, and it knows that since it's a mixed audience, to show mixed audience content. So in this case, it's showing pirates. Okay. If Liz looks away, turn around, and then I keep looking at it. What's going to happen is. So eventually it's going to switch to Spider-Man because now it knows that it's an all-male audience that's looking at it. People are going out there, they're buying outdoor, and they're buying outdoor with creative that definitely has a demographic slant. So why shouldn't the, you know, the medium start becoming you know, as efficient as possible and basically saying, hey, when I see a man, show them this. When I'm seeing a woman, show them this. It's really easy for people to control what they say. So for example, if I was to ask you, what do you think about this? You know, you might be concerned about how whatever you say is going to come off or something like that. But when it comes to facial responses and gestures, generally it's a little bit harder to control. So what we can do here, and as you can see right now, you have dots that are on your face. And if you start nodding your head, you can see we can start actually measuring um, exactly oh, what those trick. responses. Exactly. Now start smiling. And as you smile, you're going to see the smile line is going to start to move as well. Um, <laughs> There's there a big go. smile. Yeah, so now you can see your line is actually starting to show up. But, oh, cool. but we use it here in the lab. We actually put the camera right into our retail shelves just so we can demonstrate to people, hey, pick this product up. And they actually start looking at it. And then from there, you can actually get a pretty natural reaction. And we use that to demonstrate it. All right, cool. What next? Uh, let's go to in motion. Go down to, uh, go to ties. Ties, all right. OK. So now. Now put your left hand down, use your right hand, okay, okay, and select the one that you want. Well, I have to be honest, none of these are really my style, but I'll go with this one. There you go. So now, okay. now twist your body. Put your, yeah, it's, it's always good to put your hands down and your waist good. So you can see how it'll map to you and so forth. We think this becomes a very interesting shop at home experience, especially when you think about people going to physical stores, scanning barcodes of products, and creating a wear it later list. So this company, Facecake, this is the business that they're actually in. They provide all of these moving backgrounds for photos and so forth. So yeah. if you buy a digital photo frame, you know they'll have the snow falling in the background and all that kind of stuff. And they do a great job with it. And so uh, it's actually kind of fun now to see all these backgrounds that are in here. So it's kind of like they're putting their two best businesses together. Well, I yeah, really right? feel much better with the briefcase you know on this lovely fall you know, walk. As much as you may not want to admit it, it does work. Are you kidding? This is it, great. This is scenes, great, right? The scenes is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, cool. <laughs> You just, I, I love that. Like, I'm suddenly at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.